Hi, my name is Colin, and we're going to talk today about how to use today's menu. So let's create our first menu. We're going to create a breakfast menu. The first thing we're going to do is create the sections that we want to have in our menu. So we're going to have main dishes for the kiddos from the bakery and sides. And let's go ahead and create our menu. Okay, so now we have our sections and we're going to create the items. And the fast way to do this is to, in each one of these, we're going to enter the name of our item and then a space and then a dash and then the price that we want to set. So I'll do that for main dishes and then I'll move on to the rest. Okay, so we've kind of laid out the skeleton of our menu and now we're going to add some details to each one. So I'm going to hover over each item. I'm going to give it a description and maybe a picture if I have one. Okay, and then if I do have an image, here's how I'm going to have that look. I'm going to grab an image from my files, upload that here, and I'm going to say this is one of our favorites, so I'm going to mark that there, hit save. When you're choosing an image to put into one of the menu items, it's going to automatically shrink it down, compress it, and size it to a one by one. That means same width, same height image. So you don't have to worry about your images loading really slow on your website. We're going to make sure they load super fast. Okay, so here's what I got so far. I can always hit the preview button to check that out, see how it's going to look on a real site. And I'm looking pretty good right now. I want to make some adjustments though. First of all, I forgot to put my drink uh, menu on here. So after sides, I'm going to add a section called drinks. I'm going to enter them here. And I want to add a little bit of pizzazz to each section. So I'm going to put a little description on each section title. So I'm going to grab this, hit edit, and do that for each one. Okay, there's my last one. And then I'll preview how that looks. And yes, we have a nice, nice little description on each section, which is great. And within each section, you can add a footer. So here in the bakery section, maybe we have seasonal muffins that are available occasionally. So I'm going to add that here. And maybe on the drink menu, we'll do something similar here. Just let people know that they can have uh, to-go coffee on the way out. And then the entire menu can have a footer. So down here at the bottom, I'll hit edit menu footer and paste something here. This is a good place to put things about food allergies, for instance. Okay, we'll save that and then check this out. So now we have our section footers here and our page footer here. Let's take a look at adding annotations. So in the bakery, for instance, we have these banana nut muffins. Maybe I want to say that it contains nuts. And the avocado toast deluxe, let's say that that is a vegan option. And you can set these to be whatever you want. So if you want to make your own, you can say, um, specify an emoji, like maybe this says contains shellfish. Uh, I'm not going to do that here because the American breakfast doesn't. But that's how you do it. You can manage those yourself for any of your menu items. And if you scroll down at the bottom, you'll see that there's a legend that shows up that sh shows your annotations there. Um, and this is where things get really fun. We can play with the style. So we can say um, we want to have these all show as rows or columns for each of these sections. That's what these layout buttons do here. We can change the style to say that we want to maybe have them centered or maybe we want to use the full annotation instead of just a legend icon. Um, you can hide the dashed line for the prices or you can just hide the prices altogether. And then you can apply these to all sections so that they look the same or each one can look a little bit different. And then you can also order these sections however you like. So we've got right now they're just straight list down, but you can do a staggered column so that they line up a little bit like this. This kind of sort of saves the most vertical space. You can have them look like a grid where they always line up um, each row down. And so I'm going to have them be staggered columns and let's take a look at what that looks like. So here's my menu, made it super quick. Um, I'm pretty much ready to go with it. So I'm going to exit the preview and then I'm going to hit publish and that's all there is to it.